What's up guys, it's November 6, 2023. We're gonna do a breakdown of the E-mini. It's a pretty uh, boring day. Tight rain, small breakout, and we snap right back into it. The better moves happen towards the end of the day. Let's get into it. So, yeah. I accidentally did the review earlier without recording myself, so these prices are already updated. This is today's, however, Yesterday we did a we had a gap up and a bull trend and you can make money selling or buying but beginners or in myself should it's easier for us to just buy the EMA buy low and hold to range highs selling you would have to catch the exhaustion and be willing to scale in so you'd have to have a wide stop scaling in averaging down it's not it's not a good strategy if you're just learning how to trade or trying to get consistently profitable. Today, the first six bars of the day, we had a gap up with continuation, but we weren't able to fill the gap into last week's high and um, last Friday's high. Bulls tried twice to get to the last week's high and fail, and bears pushed down and closed the gap quite quickly. This does look bullish at the moment, but the most recent price action is we sold off this level, so traders should have that in mind. Bears go for leg one, leg two, and they are able to get to the low. Bears are bears are closing gaps. They close this gap, they close this they close this bull bull gap, they close the gap up, and now they're closing these gaps trying to get to the low. This is a wedge bottom bull flag right now. From yesterday's fire section, and then we have a let me draw it so you guys can see here. Here's one wedge bottom. Here's a double bottom. And then for today's price action, not including yesterday's, we have it like this. This is this would be a good, this is an all right long. But when we have big emotional bars on range days, it's better to just wait because these are designed to trap traders. Look, this looks like a great bar to get short. And if you go short, you hit in, you're gonna get trapped with a huge two legs up by the bulls. This is almost like a 10 point move very quickly. Yeah, so you'd get trapped and unless you have a wide stop, you'd get hit. you just pretty much be losing. You just throw money away on that getting short here. So it's important not to get enticed by the markets. It's easy to feel hopeful on range days that we're going to break out. However, 80% of breakouts fail within a range day. Pulls get double bottom, wedge bottom. This is good for a scalp. I'm still flat for the day. We start to sell. We can see the rally is good here. Bulls get one. Pu Bulls get one push up. Sell two push up, and we're coming back into the bar three sell zone, and the sell zone from yesterday. Now we have bear structure here, and here we have a sort of a triangle forming. Bear bears fail to get a strong close below this bar, so the market's going to try and go back up again. Bulls have to take out this high, Bull bears need to take out this low. The market's contracting. It's better for traders to wait for a breakout with follow through. We're starting to put a top in after bar 18. That's why you see me mark it out because the probabilities for outbrooks, he says, a bar 18, there's a 70% chance that we've seen the high or the low of the day. So right now, and the probabilities change depending on how the bars get put in. Right now, it looks like we have a wedge top. Lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. No new lows are being made and no new highs are being made, so the market's contracting. It's still better to just wait. We see bears start to get follow through. And the pullback is deep for the bulls because a lot of traders are trapped. Traders who bought here most likely scaled in more and they were able to get out for a small profit. When they, let's measure. So they buy here. They buy more low and they make money. They almost make it back to the original entry and they make a few points on this candle. When bulls hit out, that'll cause bears to short and bulls to hit out of their trade, making a nice trade for the downside. But we don't know that yet until we get follow through because this bar, this bar looks pretty nice in a bull trend. We start to see strong follow through. I mean, uh, we start to see a breakout with weak follow through. However, after the initial bounce, we get a good bar confirming the breakout, and we can go for a leg one, leg two move. 
we just barely oh this is not yesterday's low this is today's low yesterday's low is around here so bears are able to keep bulls are able to keep this gap open and bears are able to keep this gap open so now we could be thinking this is an inside day if you're short i think this would be safe to get out or you can wait for a, a trickle down lower but i was still short with this bar but my intentions were to get out around the lows not to hold for a new low at this point i was already like hey the market's starting to reverse we're arranging bulls are buying low You see, we start to get a bear flag, and the third flag typically fails, so it's leg one, leg two, oh, excuse me, <laughs> leg one, excuse me, leg one, leg two, leg three, and then we don't make a new low. But we bears do get to get out at the previous low, which is nice. That doesn't always happen. I got lucky on this one. I got out as this candle turned up. And now we have bullish structure at range lows. A double bottom when we hit on a range day it's good to target the open i was i was long for these bars and my target was the open and we were also taking out bullish market structure so here excuse me not bullish bearish market structure so for the for me for the markets to remain bearish bears would need to turn around here and give this bar a double top appearance bear flag double top range however bulls Bears did not get a strong close. See this candle? Bears did not get a strong close right here. So I think it's okay to get out of shorts. You don't have to get long, but I wouldn't be short after this bar because this is a strong close after the last previous sell-off. So, and, and bears couldn't make a new low and now bulls are taking out bear highs, bear swings. So I think it's good to get out of shorts and go for new targets. You can scalp, you could target the breakdown level, you could target this level. You can do a leg one, leg two, a conservative. Conservative leg one, leg two. Here, here. The, a, a, an acceptable target for this would be the open on a range day. <clears throat> the open, get the price tends to oscillate around the open a lot and we can see that right here. The, the open was a median for about the first hour of the day, first two hours of the day. The, it was just oscillated around the opening price and then the market went and searched for a new price and now we're starting to snap back. The markets are range bound today, so if you're still looking for breakouts, you would be just chasing the end of a move, it's not safe. And the open does get tagged at the last bar of the day. I don't think that's the last bar of the day, it's very close to the last bar of the day. I was already out the markets by the pullback. However, you can see it did work, and we snap right back and start to oscillate around the same price we oscillated in the morning. So it's an inside day after a big extension from last week. Let's go over last week's prices. So here we are this week. Last week's, let's update the week level, the week levels. Okay, so this. We'll go here. That's good. And then we just gotta adjust this 50% level. Okay, delete that. So these are the levels I'm looking at for this week. It's last week's high around just under 4,400 and last week's low 41, 43 and the midpoint. You guys can pull them in point and get that number. I pay attention to their price, but I just look at these kind of like 50% levels, 200% levels, 150% levels. And I look for strong closes. So this is where we're at. We're trading at the high of last week. Bulls obviously want to see continuation, but I think the market might need to consolidate. Last time we were in this range, we consolidated. So maybe we start to consolidate and go up. Bulls had a strong close above the EMA, which they haven't had in since August was the last time bulls were above the EMA. I guess, yeah, August, September time frame. That's the weekly chart, and then we go to the daily chart. Just zoomed in a little bit more, and we can see the strong closes. It was just straight up bull run last week. It was buy low, sell high. However, now that we have this doji, this is bad follow through. Bulls do not get filled if they put a buy stop order. The market's gonna see this. This doesn't mean we're gonna turn around. Remember, when we see a doji and a strong trend, it can mean the trend is coming to an end. 
So maybe we trickle higher, tag this, and turn around. Or maybe we do turn around from here. I don't know. But a doji and a strong trend means buy the close is ending. Because these are all buy the close bars. You can just buy the close and make money. That's the daily. And then we go to the hourly and see. Oh, I have to update the. Let me delete this one. Wait, what did I do? Okay, I see what's going on here. I just didn't get the exact pool. Which means I have to change the 50% level again. That's funny. Okay, well, you guys get the picture for now. Actually, I'm just going to do it. I don't want to be lazy because I probably, I say I'm going to update it, then I'll forget. So this is the hourly time frame. We can see all the bull bars. It's very bullish price action from last week. If we range, I am a little bit bull biased. However, when we are ranging, that's how people get trapped is by having a bull bias at the high of a range. So yeah, that's, this is actually what I wanted to pull. So let's pull this level. We pull that level, right? That's the high of the, well, this is actually the high of the range we're in right now. But then we're gonna break it up into Albrook's fib levels. That's the wrong. I'm gonna delete this purple one for a second, delete this purple one. So just based off Albrook's fib levels, we sell in the upper third, we sell, sell in the upper third, do nothing here and buy in the lower third. So we shoot down, wait, shoot up. That's as long as price action is telling us to get short. I'm doing that because this is what we're supposed to do in a range bound. We could just keep on going forever. I don't know what the markets want to do. That's just how Brooks recommends we play range bounds, and I'm trying to get better at it, but it is difficult to do counterintuitive things on range days, which is why I'm staying away until the market's in a breakout mode. Hope you guys are learning. This video is a little short because I filmed the whole like 22 breakdown, 22 minute breakdown, and then wasn't hitting record and all that jazz. But thank you for commenting. I'm getting you guys' emails. This is sweet. We're all it looks like we're all getting better. The holidays are around the corner, so don't let the holidays get you all twisted like trying to make more money before Christmas. We can lose a lot that way. Have a good weekend. Have a good week. Use your stop losses. Keep studying. Have a good week, guys. Bye.